work cut out for me today. It's the Battle of the Scots. Each week I go out on the water with a different pro angler for a little friendly competition. Game over, Scotty boy. The challenge. You can probably see this one from here. Come in Scott's head now? I think I am. Not to the wood, Scotty. No money on the line, just bragging rights. Woo, yeah! Call it up out, Ah! Oh, yes, baby! Yeah! Woo! That could be the difference. It's on. Ah! On your face! This is my show and my challenge. Hi, I'm Scott Rook from Little Rock, Arkansas, and you're about to witness a Scott Martin butt-kicking Arkansas style. I'll tell you what, Scott, we're going to have a blast out here today, man. We're on this little reservoir right outside of Stuttgart, Arkansas. It's got to be loaded. Oh, it is, Scott. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I, I've driven by this place two or three times. I keep seeing this sign that says Big Ditch Outdoors, and we've got permission to film on this lake today. We're going to rock them, dude. You're going down. No, you're going down, no, dude. No, no. You're in my backyard now, no, dude. You're I am in your down. backyard. I'm not used to all this stuff up here in Arkansas that much. But hey, I'll tell you what, I took Mike Worm down last year on a deal like this. Well, you're not taking Scott Rook down, dude. Let's get after it Let's right now, it. dude. Willow trees, plastic baits. We'll do a little Berkeley action on them. That's right. It? Berkeley, yeah. Oh, you know when we get in these boats, dude, we're not friends no more until we hit the bank. That's fine with me, dude. Oh, it's, it's on fine. now. It's on like Donkey Kong. I heard that. This thing airs, and all your buddies in Arkansas say, Man, the old Florida boy smoked you here in Arkansas? He can sing it, but can he bring it? Hey, he's up there brushing his hair or something. I get him, caught him on a bank, I'll get the best fishing spot. You know, I've never been on this lake, so it's it's uh, it's all new. I'm taking into consideration the, the weather conditions. It's October. Uh, the fish should be shallow. We got uh, good stained water. Uh, that should keep the fish shallow, so that's where I'm going to start looking at shallow. The first thing I'm looking at is, is visible cover, maybe key on some of this uh, isolated pieces of buck brush out here and see if we can't figure out where they are. You really got to pay attention to your first bite when you come to a new place and it'll really key you in on what depth those fish are holding at, uh, what type of cover and how close to that cover. The wind's blowing to the far end of this lake here. Scott started up on this, some of this submerged brush up here on the, on the point of it, which could be really good, but we're going to go back to the back wall back here and uh, the wind's pushing, you know, whatever bait's in here, the wind's pushing most of it to the back. So let's go back there. We're going to start off throwing a spinner bait, and then we're going to get out our plastics and start pitching, pitching a lot of these bushes. What I'm fishing is a Berkeley Power Tube. I'm using a 5 16 ounce weight, 20 pound line, and I like a big weight with that with that tube, it gives it a more erratic fall. When it comes over one of those branches, it darts down real quick, and what you get is a reaction strike out of these fish. These fish are in here feeding on shad real heavy. I'm trying to, again, try to imitate what they're feeding on, and, and it's a little tough. You've got to just kind of dig through your tackle box, keep trying a lot of different lures. I'm throwing a Berkeley tube. I'm gonna try this little lipless crankbait. A little gold minnow. I have not found the secret lure yet. Good one. Good one. Going down, Scott Martin, you're going down. That's what I'm talking about. That fish hammered it. It, it actually hammered that bait. These fish are being difficult. We'll see if is there a scoop laying around, do you? All right. That's it. Tired of goofing around. How many you got, Scott? I got nil right now. None. Zero. Zilch. I caught one small one a while ago. He won't keep, though. There he is. See, that was it. I just kind of switched around. Yes, now that's cool. Now, if this works, I'm gonna catch a lot of fish right here. You know, everybody thinks that when you fish a small lake like this, that you just catch them on any lure that's in your tackle box, but it's not true. Lures are tools, and you gotta have the right lures for the right situation. I start off with a big spinnerbait, threw it around here a lot. I've made one catch with that smaller spinnerbait and caught a fish. He's not very big, but I might have figured out something here. 
may have holes underneath them, maybe it's Martin boxes or something, I don't know. Turn my head and talking and he got it. That one's a keeper, isn't it? He's going down, Scott Martin. One. Good fish. That was a good fish. Pretty fast. The new E-Tech from Evinrude. It's time you got it. I think I got it. They're America's most innovative total performance fishing machines. And with more best-in-class features than any other tournament rig, they've taken acceleration, handling, space, fishability, and all-out performance to new extremes. Go ahead, dare to dream, and join a whole new level of leadership. This is beyond evolution. This is the Ranger Z Comanche series. Discover the power of Evinrude. Evinrude is leaner, meaner, and cleaner. Imagine how difficult it would be to catch fish if all your lures were gray. Fishing's all about color and knowing how to use it. That's why you're gonna love these new color fish finders and chart plotters from Garmin. Color changes the way you look at those big bright LCD displays, that 400 watt sonar, Garmin's nowhere to hide see-through technology, all at a great low price. So say goodbye to shades of gray, Garmin's color catches more fish. Today for a free Kissimmee St. Cloud Visitor's Kit. It's filled with values and all the information you need for a great Florida vacation. <laughs> the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Evan Root Outboards. It's time you got it. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin. Get a Garmin and get on fish. Smoking it too, dude. I mean, smoking it. I just about didn't catch up with that fish. He got it. Came away from that bush so fast. There's a bite. All right. We'll hide that from old old rook. We didn't want him to see that one. Now these fish. Again, I'm in, I'm in this same little area where these fish were blowing up on Chad. I really couldn't get them going on anything. But now that they've stopped blowing up, I'm gonna go in here and pick apart these bushes. It's a good chunk right there. We're on the board, boys. Not a giant, but it's a keeper. And they're hitting that thing good. They like that burnt power too. That four. He didn't see that either. one. Good fish. That was a good fish. All right. It's slowly starting to work out. Not a real big one, but a good one. 
but a good one. See the key to this, again, the shad, we're in here feeding, bass were feeding on the shad, and uh, you know, I was able to just be patient, pick apart these bushes, and so far we've gotten two, two good fish out of the bushes. I think, I think this will keep working. That was a good bite right there. I pulled it up on that tree limb, and he thumped it. You know, ever since Berkeley came out with their new power baits and their gulp stuff, uh, the baits have so much scent in, in, the, in the bait itself that these fish will not let it go. And, um, you know, in the years past, when you fished normal plastic baits, you had to kind of set the hook kind of quick. But now with these new baits, they have so much scent in them and they taste so real that these fish actually won't even let it go. So now I've been able to increase my landing ratio by saying to myself, there's one. There's one, there's a bite, there's one right there. There he is. And then I'll get my feet planted, I'll get my rod in position, and I'll set the hook. It's not like the old days where you had to set the hook really quick to catch the fish. going down, Scott Martin. <laughs> you know, in any tournament I fish, you get you get that five. And you could just slow down, you fish so much better. Your confidence is real high. That's normally when I get my five fish in the box, regardless of the size, you know, even if they're just five, 12 inches, I can really slow down. I fish with, with a, a whole lot more methodical and take my time about it. And normally, that's when you catch your bigger fish. You got them figured out yet? No. Only got one, dude. He's a good liar. Because I know he had more than one, but he, I mean, he was like, lying so good. I was like, well, am I seeing things? is a place where people still care about real quality and innovation, where ideas aren't limited to an eight-hour clock. Performance is measured by your total satisfaction, and attention to detail is a celebrated way of life. Welcome to the Ranger family. Real people, real commitments, and boats that are literally legendary. Discover the power of Evinrude. Evinrude is leaner, meaner, and cleaner. Pretty fast. The new E-Tech from Evinrude. It's time you got it. I think I got it. Take me fishing and show me how to drive the boat. Take me fishing so we'll always have something in common. Take me fishing because my wedding will be sooner than you think. Rediscover the joy of boating and fishing. Visit TakeMeFishing.org. Can you imagine how difficult it would be to catch fish if all your lures were gray? Fishing's all about color and knowing how to use it. That's why you're going to love these new color fish finders and chart plotters from Garmin. Color changes the way you look at those big, bright LCD displays, that 400-watt sonar, Garmin's nowhere-to-hide see-through technology, all at a great low price. So say goodbye to shades of gray. Garmin's color catches more fish. 